No doubt whatsoever about uh, these two players because Jim Gavin and Keith Barr, very much uh, Dublin men. If I can turn to you first, uh, Keith, what did it mean to you to win that All-Ireland? Because you've been chasing after it for some time. Well, I joined the panel in 88 and it's seven or eight years gone down the road and when you come onto the Dublin football team, you wouldn't think it'd take as long as that. I'm just so delighted for everybody. I mean, this year's been special. After the last, I say, 36 months, we have uh, come up against very big disappointments, but and all credit to everybody that this team has strength and depth. We stuck together and we trained very, very hard. And all credit to everybody. What did it mean to you for an unusual uh, Dublin side that this time you got the support of a lot of the country, a lot of the cultures this time were supporting the jobs? We got everybody except yourself, Marty. <laughs> As I heard you are living up in Tyrone. <laughs> they bought you a villa up there. <laughs> but uh, no, it was great. But I mean, this is news to me, by the way, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take the money belt off you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing this battle here tonight. <laughs> but, um, but, um, I mean, it's great to have the support. We, we, um, I mean, the support has been great. We accept it, but at the end of the day, we have to go out and win it, and win it we done, and that's the main thing. I'm just, I'm just so delighted, it's unbelievable. Jim Gavin, of course, uh, a relative newcomer. You've been there knocking on that door, and you persevered, and you won your award today. Yeah, I've been uh, with the pants in 92, and I've uh, seen the highs and lows uh, that goes with football. And uh, yeah, it's a great day for myself and for other guys who have been there since 92. Jerry Regan has been mentioned before, and all the other pants as well. It's, it's a great, great day. What did it mean to you when that final whistle went? Because there's a lot of work. I know that uh, training, you've put a lot into it, like all the other Dublin players. Yeah, the, basically just relief that the, the final whistle went. It's been a uh, culmination of uh, whatever, four years of hard work, and a lot of obstacles have been uh, crossed for the, the uh, Holy Grail, I suppose you call it. Mm. Now, I know that there was good blood somewhere, because your father is from a place called Dromilaha in Cree, West Clare. Your mother is from Biltown Melbourne, Moy, I think. Are you going to bring the Sam Maguire down to join the Lee McCarthy? Yeah, I was uh, down in Clare, in uh, Cora Clare, on the August weekend for about four days, and uh, Jack Corgan and uh, Martin McQueen uh, invited me down to join Liam. Uh, so I hope I've been Sam down, hopefully, around That's Christmas time. Weekend, he missed the training session. <laughs> You finally, years now. <laughs> finally, Keith Barr, you said to me in the dressing room afterwards, forget now about the Clare shout, Marty. Let's hear about the Dublin shout. So what's the Dublin shout? Well, this is what Pat O'Neill says. Come on, you boya! <laughs> Keith Barr, Jim Gavin, ladies and gentlemen.